In the relentless race for technological supremacy, the semiconductor industry emerges as the battleground of the 21st century, shaping our digital existence. What role will the Global South play in this competition? Stay tuned to explore the implications with us. The rivalry between the United States and China extends across various domains, spanning from sports and the Olympics to manufacturing and the pursuit of global supremacy. Presently, this rivalry has shifted to a smaller yet critically significant arena, the domain of chips and semiconductor technology. This field holds pivotal importance for the advancement of modern technologies and has emerged as the latest focal point in their ongoing strategic competition. The semiconductor industry occupies a central position in our world, profoundly influencing the fabric of our daily lives, the economy, and the future trajectory of technology. Semiconductors, commonly referred to as chips, serve as the underlying intelligence within nearly all modern electronic devices upon which we rely. From the multitude of chips embedded within our smartphones, potentially numbering up to a hundred, to the sophisticated semiconductor systems integrated into our vehicles for enhanced driver assistance, these minuscule components are indispensable. Furthermore, semiconductors serve as the cornerstone of technological innovation. Driving advancements across various sectors, they are indispensable for the development of cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, which is revolutionizing industries ranging from healthcare to entertainment. Additionally, semiconductors play a crucial role in the proliferation of electric vehicles, paving the way for a more sustainable future. Moreover, they are integral to the development of renewable energy systems, offering cleaner alternatives to traditional energy sources. China, as one of the founding nations of BRICS, holds the distinction of being the world's largest semiconductor market representing 31.4% of global final sales, equivalent to $180 billion out of a total of $574 billion in 2022. Positioned at the forefront of semiconductor industry expansion, China is poised for significant growth, with 18 new projects expected to commence operations in 2024. This expansion is primarily fueled by government funding and incentives, with a targeted 133% year-on-year capacity growth to reach 8.6 million wafers per month by 2024. China's ambition extends further, aiming to achieve self-sufficiency and produce a quarter of the world's semiconductors by 2030. Among the key players driving this growth is Huawei, actively engaged in semiconductor chip manufacturing through its high silicon subsidiary, Collaborating with Chinese company SMIC, Huawei plays a pivotal role in China's quest for semiconductor self-reliance, exerting significant influence over semiconductor policymaking in the country. This strategic initiative aligns with China's broader agenda to enhance its semiconductor manufacturing capabilities. Despite U.S. export controls designed to restrict China's access to advanced technology, the U.S. has enacted the CHIPS Act of 2022, providing substantial support to bolster domestic semiconductor manufacturing and research and development R &D. Additionally, tighter export restrictions to China have been imposed to safeguard technological advancements. The CHIPS Act, now enacted into law, earmarks $52.7 billion in federal subsidies to fortify the U.S. semiconductor industry addressing supply chain disruptions and enhancing competitiveness. It emphasizes the construction of semiconductor fabrication plants, with allocated funds also facilitating research, development, and workforce training. However, beneficiaries of these subsidies are subject to restrictions preventing the expansion of manufacturing operations in China or other nations perceived as security threats to the U.S. The narrative continues beyond these developments. In May, Japan escalated restrictions on the export of 23 types of semiconductor manufacturing equipment, surpassing the initial limitations imposed by the United States. While the U.S. focused on restricting the export of tools crucial for producing cutting-edge chips, particularly those at the 14 nanometer generation or smaller, Japan expanded its restrictions to include equipment utilized in manufacturing older, less advanced chip generations down to the 45 nanometer level. This broader restriction has sparked concerns within the Chinese semiconductor industry regarding potential disruptions in the production of essential chips used in common products, such as automobiles. By the conclusion of June, the Netherlands also tightened its export controls, 
imposing limitations on the shipment of deep ultraviolet lithography machines to China. These machines play a critical role in chip patterning. This regulatory action represented a significant expansion beyond previous regulations, which since 2019 had solely restricted the export of the most advanced extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. In response to the U.S. CHIPS Act, China has intensified its commitment to semiconductor self-sufficiency and technological sovereignty, necessitating a shift from a market-driven to a security-oriented national innovation system. This strategic adjustment underscores the importance of addressing technological bottlenecks and mastering core technologies as paramount objectives. However, past initiatives following a similar approach have resulted in economic distortions and inefficiencies, raising doubts about the long-term viability and effectiveness of this strategy. According to Citigroup's analysis, the U.S. strategy may inadvertently strengthen Beijing's resolve to achieve technological self-reliance, potentially backfiring on its own integrated circuit companies. Concurrently, India is actively striving to enhance its position in the global semiconductor manufacturing landscape. The country recently announced the construction of its inaugural semiconductor fabrication plant in collaboration with the Israel-based International Semiconductor Consortium and with substantial investments from Indian conglomerate Vedanta and Taiwanese manufacturer Foxconn. Set to be established in Gujarat, India's semiconductor and display production facilities aim to establish the nation as a significant player in the semiconductor industry. Despite these ambitious initiatives, challenges such as bureaucratic inefficiencies and issues related to water and energy supply may impede India's competitiveness on the global stage. In the Middle East, Oman, along with the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, is taking significant steps to enter the semiconductor industry. Hosting the World Semiconductor and Chip Summit in Oman demonstrates their commitment to attracting investment in this sector. These countries are capitalizing on their existing technological investments to bring value to the semiconductor industry, with the aim of diversifying their economies and reducing reliance on oil. However, the entire region faces challenges due to the global chip shortage and production decreases stemming from geopolitical tensions. Expanding our scope beyond these regions, the semiconductor industry as a whole is poised for a robust recovery in 2024, with an anticipated global sales increase of 13% to reach $588 billion. This recovery is primarily driven by the resurgence of the memory chip market, alongside growth in PC and smartphone sales which are crucial end markets for semiconductors. Major players in the semiconductor industry, including Intel Corporation, Samsung Electronics Company Limited, Qualcomm Incorporated, Micron Technology Incorporated, and SK Hynix Incorporated, play pivotal roles in shaping its semi-consolidated landscape. These companies leverage various strategies, such as partnerships and acquisitions to bolster their product portfolios and secure competitive advantages. IDC projects a promising outlook, foreseeing an anticipated annual growth rate of 20% for the semiconductor market in 2024. This growth is fueled by the rising global demand for AI and high-performance computing, coupled with stabilization in demand for smartphones, personal computers, infrastructure, and growth in the automotive sector. The semiconductor industry is fundamental to the 21st century, driving essential technologies across diverse sectors such as machinery, automobiles, and communications. Its pivotal role makes competition intense, with dominant nations exerting significant influence over global technological and economic landscapes. This prompts an intriguing inquiry into the potential impact of the global south in this fiercely competitive sector. The ongoing competition in semiconductor technology holds the power to shape the future of the digital and virtual world, underscoring its critical significance. Unlike previous competitions, the outcome of this battle is less foreseeable, carrying extensive implications for global leadership in this crucial 21st century domain. As technology continues its evolution, the world closely monitors which nation will emerge as the preeminent force in the semiconductor industry. What are your thoughts on the evolving role of the Global South in the semiconductor industry? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Remember, as we delve into the realm of technology, 
the possibilities are limitless, and the future is filled with exciting discoveries. Keep exploring.